Take a look at Cooper Island in the British Virgin Islands. Get going here for our Tuesday. A little bit of storm cloud action here. You can see the gray clouds as well as a little bit of uh, some of that dreariness across the region. Showers and storms pushing on through here for our Tuesday. But then as we get going over the rest of this week, we are expecting a good mix of sun and clouds. No real big rain chances. Take a look at satellite across the Caribbean. A lot of showers and storms here for the spine of Central America. Have died on off here for the overnight. But once again, we'll continue to fire off for the afternoon in the evening. Uh, further off to the north, Cuba saw some showers and storms pop up yesterday to Jamaica. You stayed dry as well as most of the Bahamas, but more showers and storms popping up for the afternoon hours. Where we did see a lot of moisture is through here in the Lesser Antilles, Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, up through Guadalupe, and our region did see quite a bit of rain shower activity. But as we continue over these next few days, it will slide further and further westwards. You can already see that progression here with our satellite from uh, our Tuesday morning. Taking a look now at our future cast for Wednesday afternoon, seeing more showers and storms pushing to the west. Cuba, Bahamas, Jamaica, all seeing showers and thunderstorms. Good thing about this is we're not seeing too much in the way of tropical development. This storm system does have a lot of shear. Actually, the atmosphere it's going into has a lot of shear. That means the wind switches a lot with height, so that means those storms can't really form too well it's exactly what we're seeing here. Those showers continue to push further off to the west, impacting Central America here for the last day of the work week. But the eastern uh, areas here, we're looking fantastic. Lesser, greater until there's plenty of sunshine for the last day of the work week. Future cast head towards 2 p.m. on our Wednesday. A few clouds still around, but mainly sunny skies for the evening hours after what will be a cloudy start to the day. Future cast rainfall amounts, not really expecting anything here. The winds coming from the east, our typical easterly wind. Won't be seeing too much change of the winds here for the next at least 48 hours, but we'll see a little bit more magnitude of them. Could be coming Wednesday night into our Thursday as we head into uh, these next few days. Wave heights really not expected to change much either. Similar to the wind, we're going to see a little bit of variation, but nothing too major out there. You can see a little bit less in the way of that deeper shade of blue for our Thursday afternoon, but in comes it again as we do expect those ways to come on down Friday. A few feet for the open waters, not expecting much for those inlets and harbor areas. Take a look now at our Wednesday forecast region wide, expecting a good deal of cloud cover region wide at 86, 89 degrees for the afternoon high temperatures right around 30, 32 degrees Celsius. The peaks of sunshine can be expected and won't be seeing increasing sunshine as you head into the afternoon, but nonetheless, a good deal of cloud cover. Five day forecast looking at cloudy skies for our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, seeing a good mix of sun and clouds out there. Precip chances are rising up just a little bit as we head towards Sunday as well as Monday, but overall we're not seeing any major rain chances here in this five day forecast. So did see a little bit of rain here to start off the week, but looking like we're going to the rest of the week and the weekend without any major rain chances. Tracy. All right. Looks like a wonderful forecast for today. Thanks. Certainly. So much.